Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. This time I'm going to give you 10 hints and tips about the Jaguar XE 2020 model. Stay tuned. For more videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn those notifications on. And if you do like this, then give me that thumbs up. Let's go. If whilst driving down a country lane you found that the bushes and branches are scraping against your wing mirrors, you can actually bring both mirrors in with the press of the window mirror folding buttons. What you need to do is press both of the buttons at the same time. This will then fold the mirrors in. And to fold them back out again, press both buttons and the mirrors will automatically fall back out. Just be aware that if you turn the car off and lock it, after you've manually folded the mirrors in, the mirrors will not automatically unfold when you unlock the car. You can personalise your home screen on your display to anything that you like. This is mine. Uh, usually that is the kind of default one you get. But what you need to do is just hold on an area on the screen and then it'll go into edit mode. You can then tap the plus to add content and then you can add anything you want. So in this case, we can add mini media player and then press the home button. This has now added the mini media player to my home screen. What you now need to do is set this my home one screen or whatever you call yours to be the default when you get in the car. To do that, go to settings home settings default home here you need to select which is your default home screen and mine is selected you can globally close all of your windows when you lock the car by pressing and holding the lock button like so This is very useful when you've left some windows open and you're walking away from your car. You can also do the same by fully opening all the windows when you walk up to the car on a hot day by pressing and holding the unlock button like so. If you find that the global opening and closing is not working on your vehicle, what you'll need to do is to enable it within the dashboard settings. So on your dashboard, go to the main menu, go to vehicle settings, Scroll down to convenience features, select that, then there you go, you can now enable Windows Global Open and Windows Global Close. This should now work with the key fob. So by now I assume we've learned how to lock and unlock your car, you just press the lock button, mirrors fold in, lights flash once and to unlock you just press the unlock button, mirrors come out and the lights flash again if you've got the mirror set to do that that is did you also know that you can deadlock this car which means that when you deadlock it you cannot open the doors from inside so if somebody smashes the window and tries to get in your car they won't be able to and the way we do that is you just press the lock button twice what you then see is the lights flash once and then they do again and give a little beep as well as the mirrors folding in and then to unlock it it's the same single unlock 
So when the car is locked, you need to know whether it's in deadlock or normal lock. All you need to do is to press the lock button once and it will then tell you at this instance, this car is in deadlock because we had the little beep. You can also do this exact same thing from the sensor on the door handle. So this one actually took me a little while to find, but if you want to reset your trip computer here, then the way you do that is, if you look down here at this point, and if you press the button on the end of this stalk, you'll see what happens. So if I press the button once, it turns that off. If I press it again, it then shows the date. And again, now it's showing the miles, the average speed, the average miles per gallon, and the current miles per gallon. I'm not moving, so therefore that's showing nothing. Then shows, obviously, the amount of uh, fuel left in your tank. And back to that again. So if you wanted to reset these numbers, which when you reset, it will reset all of them, apart from obviously what's left in your tank. So you just need to go to one of those numbers on that part down there. Now, what you're gonna do is press and hold this button for three seconds, and then you'll see it resets. Press one, two, three. And if you look now, all of these have now reset. Did you know that your Jaguar comes with split folding rear seats? I didn't either, because it doesn't appear that there is a catch inside where you can actually do this. But what I found in the boot was two buttons that you can pull and they enable seats to do the split folding as in most normal cars, like so, follow me. So if you look under here, see those two yellow knobs? So you can pull those yellow knobs and they release the seats. Now what I've found is this is a massive struggle. I've actually pulled those before and it doesn't seem to lower them from inside the car. So what you need to do is push them from the back of the car. It's one. And that's two. So now you can load through with longer items. If you find that your key fob no longer opens or closes the door, then you can actually do it manually using the key. Now the key is actually hidden in the fob. If you look at your fob, you have a little pressing button there. If you press that and pull, then the key does come out. Underneath this part here is a little slot you push that key into there and that will release this plastic plate. I'm not gonna do that on here. Inside there is a standard door lock which you can use the key to open your door. When you get to where you're going and you pull up on your driveway, then all you need to do to stop and engage park mode is keep your foot on the brake and just press the start stop button once. You'll see that that automatically takes out a drive puts it in park after it stopped the engine. To use the Jaguar Remote app, first of all, go to where you need to download apps from. This is Android, so this is the Play Store. So go in there, search for Jaguar Remote. It comes up, it's that one there, so it's the red and black one, and select that one. And I've already installed it, so that's why it just says open on mine. Uh, you will get an install button, just press the install button, and you'll be able to download it and install it onto your phone. You will then need to set up some security features. It will then work after that. So to start your car remotely, when using the app, just select the remote option down here, verify your identity, and then you see the big red button. So what you can do is press and hold the red button, and it should now Send the signal to start the car which it has done please note that you won't be able to do this if the car is unlocked or any of the windows are open this is for security so somebody can't jump in your car and drive it away you can also stop it remotely by just pressing the stop button pressing and holding the stop button and the car has now stopped The steering wheel comes with a customizable button here. 
you can actually make this do whatever feature you want. To set this up, you need to go back to your main screen. Go to settings menu, then select all settings, features, favorite button, and now here you've got two options, short press and long press. So for short press, you can go in there and you can select whichever feature you want that button to do. So there we go. I hope I told you something that you didn't know about your Jaguar XC 2020 edition. If you did like this video, then please subscribe to my channel, turn notifications on, and don't forget to give me that thumbs up. Till the next time, take care.